Okay, first time trying this out. I don't think anyone's here yet. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to try to do some reading of Mark's book, which I've peeked at before, read little bits of, but it's a long book. It's a little bit of a weird book in a fun way. And I thought it would be neat to read it on a stream. Um, and yeah, I don't know what I'm in for. I'm not uh, necessarily endorsing Mark's work by reading this. I like Mark and I like what I've read of the book, but I'm not sure what I'm getting into yet. Um, and yeah, part of the reason I'm doing this as well is that I'm having him on the podcast next week. So just kind of want to get a better sense of the book before I talk to him. So the plan is to read it and take some notes. And I may or may not engage with folks in the chat if they're here. Uh, Going to be prioritizing reading and taking notes, but uh, might talk aloud about what I'm reading or not. We'll see. Um, yeah, so it should be fun. Planning on being here for like two or three hours, maybe longer, maybe less. We'll see how it goes. This is Mark's book. Planning to read this and check out uh, his book and read it for the next couple hours. Get a sense of his book in preparation for talking to him next week. Hopefully... Uh, people can see this okay and get a sense of it. At least the way I have it set up right now, I can't see comments. Uh, so maybe I'll see if I can get those up on my phone. And read it. Yeah, this looks good. It looks like it is live. I just can't see comments yet, so sure how to do that. Um, let's see if I'm able to get comments here. Uh, just do that. Let's see if this works. Okay. Um, Sorry for all the technical issues, folks. Just my first time doing this. First time for everything. Hey, Michael. Nice to see you here. Uh, how did I do that? <laughs> I want to get it so that this is... Oh, I can do that. I can pop out the chat. That's what I should do. Okay, perfect. And I'm going to pull up Rome as well. Um, Okay, that should be good. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. Um, next time I do this, if and when I do this again, I'll have this all set up, but first time for everything. So as I said previously, I've read some of this before, but um, not all of it. And it's always changing, of course. Mark's recently made a lot of changes to make this book more readable, so that's really nice. And um, the parts that I have read, I've quite enjoyed, although some of it is very opaque to me. But what's made sense to me seems pretty helpful. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to turn some music on and 
dive in. I'm just gonna try to, uh, so some of this, this style is, uh, really nice in some ways and kind of grading in other ways. Uh, so I'm gonna try to blur my eyes when I see things that are grading and just focusing on the things that I like, uh, and read and vibe with. I'm gonna, uh, scan through this partial guided tour. Uh, and see if anything pops out. Uh, I think this was recently added and I quite like it. Um, meditation carries risks, definitely. I've heard people say that Mark's description of the risks of meditation is quite good. I'm not especially interested in that for myself because it's like, yep, got it, I'm good. Um, this I'm interested in, the flavor of what kind of meditation this whole document is about. I definitely want to read that today. Uh, practical core, definitely want to read some of that. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do another kind of scan through the table of contents type stuff to get a sense of what's here. Um, Practice, preliminaries, practice, multiple protocols. Wow, I had just heard of P0 through P3, but there's lots of them. <laughs> Neat. Ooh, lists and more. Okay, this is helpful. You can kind of see from the purple links what I've recently looked at. Uh, Keegan, wow. Buddhas. Yeah, this book is just all over the place. <laughs> Comments on pretty much everything in the world. Um, all right, I'm going to dive into the bibliography. That seems fun. Um, hmm. Definitely read some of these and kind of am peripherally aware of others. Uh, no idea how some of these relate to this book. <laughs> Hyper intentional logic. Okay. Yeah, it's interesting. I, the, how to describe this book from Mark. If it was anyone else, would have pushed me away, for sure. Uh, the way that this book is formatted and what it covers, but um, Mark has a lot of goodwill in my mind, and I am very curious about the things in here. And there definitely are good things here, so I'm. That's part of why I want to be reading it and reflecting on it. I know that there's some good stuff in here, and I want to find that. Uh, 
pulling out some of these books that I want to look at at some point. Whoa. So Mark is intimidatingly well read. <laughs> Lots of good stuff here. The book recommendations that I have picked up from him in the past have been quite good. Um, like this book is great if you're interested in standing meditation. That's a terrific start. Um, yeah, I've been wanting to read this one for a while. It's been making the rounds on Twitter. This one's excellent. Um, he talks about focusing above here, Gendlin. I like that book, but even better is Ann Weiser Cornell's book, which it doesn't look like he has. It's a really short practical introduction to focusing. Uh, yeah, Heidegger, all right. Um, why not? Very well read. Yeah, so these ones I wanted to pull out. Um, let me go back to the beginning, dive into how do I scroll? Okay. Look at this one. Ooh. Interesting. Why people bounce off of the document. That's been me. Text interpretation. Huh. Huh. Wow. Bold. Okay. Hmm. So this passage is particularly interesting to me. Uh, concentration practices and meta counterproductive. It's going to be something I want to hear more about from Mark. Uh, top down nature. Error checked. 
backtracking. So, th so basically, this passage makes a, a strong claim that's counter to my experience, as well as he, how to put it, he uses specific jargon to make his argument that I'm not sure I fully understand and can read charitably. Uh, and even if I did understand those words or was 100% con confident that I did, I, I, have a, I can guess at what those mean, but I'm not completely sure that I'm understanding them the way that he would mean them. But even if I did, it looks like this isn't a substantive argument rather than just a statement of a belief, which is fine. You can have a different opinion, and I'd be curious to hear why. Uh, but I would want to know what the argument is for that like to see some more substantive stuff about that i'm sure it's here elsewhere or that he could talk about it but haven't seen it yet so this is a pretty interesting passage um gonna bold that part okay yeah so this looks pretty good uh formatting is Obnoxious. Sorry, Mark. I know you know that. <laughs> He's doing his best. He's doing his work in the world. Hitting publish. And it's not perfect. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> wow, this is interesting. Okay. Okay, so I read this as saying multiple things, but one of them is like, bear with me, this is going to be hard. I'm trying to say something important and difficult. Please, please try to be charitable as you read this document, and also don't hurt yourself, which is fair. Noted. Yep, yep, yep. My ideal would be to completely obviate the need for a teacher. That's fascinating. Fascinating. Okay. Why is that fascinating? It's such a contemporary position. And in particular, it makes me think about the three treasures. I don't know the extent to which this is a Buddhist document, but the three jewels or the three treasures or gems, uh, you need a teacher, teachings, and a sangha community is one way that I look at that particular Buddhist list. So just having teachings or just having teachings and community without a teacher is an interesting goal to have. Uh, yeah, not sure what that's about or why he would want that. I could imagine, but I'd be curious to hear him talk about that. Uh, okay, so we read that. Yeah, I'm gonna read this introduction a bit more. Yeah, is this Buddhist that just came up? So let, let's dive into that. Meta warning, wow. Meta warning, long meta warning. wanted to scan to see how long this section actually is. Accumulating warning after warning, epicycles on episode. That's just funny. Okay. Uh, document level meta warning. That's just funny. I think that's funny. Uh, I, I studied Ptolemy in school, so that's, that's a funny joke. <laughs> Uh, reality. <laughs> Phil
Feel free to pipe up in the chat if you're in there. That's true. Yeah, this is a good description. I feel like I definitely received a lot of claims like this, or especially early on, the first like five years of my practice. Nowadays, I just sort of brush this stuff off. Um, like, oh, this might happen, or if you do this, this bad thing could happen, or you don't really know what's happening, which is has a bad flavor to it. <sighs> it's like disempowering to hear that kind of stuff and confusing and it's like, oh, other people know about my experience more than I do. Um, so I like this description and what he's pointing to. Okay, to put the document down and come back to it later. Seems good. Hmm. This is just occurring to me, and I doubt this is anything about what Mark is talking about, but um, one side effect of these kinds of warnings is that they can be, like, flashy advertising, like, oh no, this might have bad effects, like, that can draw people's interest, like, this is powerful stuff, so uh, I doubt that's what Mark's going for, I think he genuinely cares about safety probably more than I do. But um, that does seem like a possible side effect of warnings. Nuance, data, representative anecdotes. Huh. It's interesting that he includes comments from collaborators. People that he's chatted with, I assume. 
epistemic status disclaimer. More risks. <laughs> High blood pressure. All right. <gasps> wow, that's okay. The big old warning label. Okay, so it's a pretty good list of worst case scenarios that could possibly happen if you meditate or engage in spiritual practice. Definitely more robust than anything I ever saw when I started out. Uh, I'm trying to think which of these have actually happened to me over the last 10 years. So I, I mean, of course, I haven't gone that deep, deep, deep. But I've done a lot of practice. I'd say, yeah, there's been health effects, sleep effects, emotional effects, uh, confusion, effects on relationships, friendships, teaching relationships, intimate relationships. But I don't know. It's nice that this is so clear. It's like things could get really bad, but they've never been that bad for me. Um, I don't know, maybe, I think the worst is like maybe extreme emotional disturbance, but I don't know, life does that, <coughs> can't avoid that. Uh, okay, my patience for this risk section is low and I definitely don't like reading dialogues, so I'm going to skip this section. Exoteric doctrine. Okay, I'm into this section. I want to read it. Um, this is an allusion to, I think, Straussianism. 
or maybe he picked it up elsewhere, but uh, ooh, fascinating. Yeah, so exoteric doctrine would be like external facing articulation of what we believe as opposed to an internal facing sort of in-group description. Makes me wonder if, yeah, wow. Okay, the next section is esoteric. So that's cool. Interesting that he would articulate that in a section, but okay, truth exists, goodness exists. I'm gonna write these down. Why not? this. This is cool. Like this. So this is a word that I came across in the context of this document originally. And I'm pretty sure I know what it means, but just for the stream and for my benefit, we're going to look it up. Uh, not monotonic. So monotonic is consistently increasing and never decreasing. So non-monotonic would be... Uh, Sometimes it decreases, and sometimes it increases. Yeah, so it's just the opposite of that. So that means it increases and decreases variably, is not linear, goes up and down five steps forward, four steps backwards kind of thing. These are just your interpretations of words. Are there even words? Wow, that's... Let go. <laughs> okay. Maybe don't there... Th okay, I... Doing a check, I don't think I'm in an existential dread spiral right now. Random, beautiful, brutalist shit written by a random person. Wow. This is a hell of a book. Okay.
Uh, so this, the tone of this section is uh, quite different than anything I've read so far. It seems like we're getting a little past the warning labels section. Uh, so that's fun. This is a bit more poetic and playful, but intense. Never go full Buddhist. I don't know what this is. Huh. Huh. Broken link here. Full Buddhist. <laughs> I haven't seen that movie, but I'm I'm down with <laughs> never go. I'm down with referencing memes and meditation books. That's cool. I'm into it. that there's a broken link. <laughs> I wonder how this fits with the exoteric doctrine. Meditation, loosen things up. Yeah, I've definitely already started. All right. already read this section. Great. Kind of curious to look what percentage of this thing I've read so far. All the purple stuff I've read or looked at, although I might revisit some of that today. Uh, ooh. Yeah, let me check this out since I looked that up here. start with an ellipsis. It's so confusing. <laughs> Lots of slashes. I'm trying to think if so these are technical definitions.
Avoidance, this is fascinating. Okay, let's see. Body, mind, world. I think that's uh, maybe from Booty, Embryosophy. Maybe, maybe not. the word body mind environment definitely some gold in here and also lots of mess of things that hard to look at anxiety horror horribleness what okay punctuation man what's with this punctuation do you really have to punctuate things that way do you really have to I blame Heidegger it's all Heidegger's fault Definitely a guy that's read Heidegger. Apparently I'm just a really cranky reader. Am I am I unusually cranky? I think I'm pretty cranky about this sort of thing. Drama, melodrama, psychodrama. Ooh, this shouldn't be happening to me. That's that's one. Etc. Just 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 etc. Uh, that's funny. I would love to hire a copy editor for this book and just throw them at it and see what could be done. Um, let me see. Okay. Okay. Just because it'd be fun. I'm going to pull out the ones that I like that I think this can't be happening. Hurt by others. Actions. Drama. These ones. Yeah, I, I really dig this list, what it's pointing at. Uh, I think it's fascinating. And I also don't like the presentation at all, which is going to be a huge theme in this reading. Because I'm either because I'm cranky or because this book actually needs a copy editor. And I love you, Mark. You're great. You're great. But uh, bullet point with etc. Um, let's see. Yeah, these are good. These are all good. Let's just remove the punctuation. Should be. Needs. Has to be. It's reformatting. 
I do quite like this list though, despite being a cranky person. <laughs> huh. Okay, this is this is interesting. This is interesting, okay. So it'd be nice to make a list of what needs to be attended to. It's hard, but I'm gonna try. So we don't leave anything out. This is a good list. I'm trying to see. I'm guessing that somewhere in a list this exhaustive, there will be something that I haven't looked at sufficiently enough. So I'm kind of excited about this section. Yeah, I don't really have much of this going on. Okay, this is this is quite specific. Ooh, yeah, that's a fun one. Okay, I'm just gonna pop this whole list in here because I quite like it. Yeah, meaning, non-symbolic and liminally verbal knowing, spaciousness, Euclidean and otherwise. Because why not? Why not? I think something I tend to avoid, and many people do, is uh, awareness behind you. Awareness behind you. Okay, wow, this is, this is, uh, wow. Okay, I, I really, really don't know what this is talking about. This I do. This I don't. Well, this is a koan if I ever saw one. Not in the Zen way, it's obviously not a Zen koan. Don't read me too literally, but. Feels like more warnings. This 
skimming. We're, we're making a decision to skim any dialogues. More risks. I'm going to pop this out. Oh, dear God. Big Igly is looking at this. But helpful. Why not? Gotta love a meditation book that has nutrition advice. Very interesting. I don't think I do any of these things. I exercise, but not, uh, yeah, I do, yeah. What?
This is a section I'm definitely going to be interested in. I think muscle tension is one of the most important things in meditation, typically underemphasized, at least in my experience. So I'm curious what he'll say about this. Yeah, I don't know what to make of this section, but that's okay. I'll be right back. Hmm. Oh. Wow, uh, looks like there have been some comments that I didn't see. Sorry about that. Uh, Live chat, I see. Let's see if that works.
Okay, this is some good stuff. I've read this section before, but I quite like it. If I recall correctly, yeah. I think that's actually what I... Huh. Yeah, I guess I found it interesting that he never used psychedelics, doesn't intend to, <coughs> etc. 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 Okay, this is a good section. Definitely a good section here. There's a way you can read something sometimes where you, I don't know how it works exactly, but you can kind of trust what you're drawn to and skim what you're not drawn to. So I notice through this reading that I'm just really not drawn to the warnings, to uh, anything that's like formatted in a way that I personally perceive as obnoxious, any of the dialogues. Also, any of the theoretical stuff, I'm interested in practical takes of how he approaches meditation, which I know they're in here, but we still haven't dived into too much. Uh, anything that surprises me that isn't something that I've seen before or understood. Yeah, more dialogues. Okay, let me, let me go up to the... Uh, Beginning. Let's see. Stuff, stuff. Wow. Wow. Okay. Stuff, stuff. Teaching. This is list section that I got into somehow. So I wanted to go into the practical stuff. Uh, Let's see. Goal. Let's look at this.
Okay, I'm gonna look up this word. He just defines it somewhere. <gasps> I'm gonna look it out. Elsewhere, enduring forever. I don't know why, but this section makes me feel like crying. It's a different uh, tone than other things. There's a lot of different styles in this book, and some of them are I'm a bit allergic to, and some of them I quite like. And this is a section I quite like, though it's a little bit allergic-y. <sighs> oh boy, brutal. <laughs> I've definitely been there doing this, smashing yourself into being what you think it's supposed to look like. That's beautiful. I have a thread that's similar to this. I'm going to look it up and find it. Yeah, this thread. I'll pop this one here. Because why not? That's a good thread. And I think he and I are saying some similar things here. That like one's own joy is not different than the expression of compassion or service. Yeah, that's cool. I like this section. I'm gonna bold it because I like it quite a bit. What are the other sections that I've liked? That's interesting to me, but feels like it'll be useful. Oh yeah, that was a good section. Avoidance. Never go full Buddhist. Esoteric. Yeah, that was a good section. Uh, This was funny. Okay.
give myself permission to skip anything that I don't find interesting or compelling. That's being an adult when you read, folks. Might as well tweet that, right? I don't disagree here, Mark. I really don't uh, about uh, this. I, ha I didn't know this, so that's exciting. Glad he cares about it. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, this is a take I have heard before from Mark, but nice to get on the record in the notes. Not strength training, it's direct puzzle solving, or as he puts it elsewhere, wayfinding, which I should look up.
Huh. Okay. I'm getting the hang of reading this book in a way that feels good to me. Just like, how to put it? I just didn't even read any of this. I have no idea what it's talking about. Didn't read this, but I did read this and this. Okay, let's go back to TOC and skip some stuff. Okay, I like this. I had a sense I'd like this. is fascinating. Uh, what section is this? Did I split that out? I don't think I split that out. I can't actually see if anyone's still watching this. I know at least two or three of people have poked in. If you're here, feel free to pipe up in the chat. I don't know how this is going for you. Uh, I'm having fun, so I hope you are too if you're watching this. to see. I have a sense of what I would like to get out of the next hour or so. And I'm trying to figure out where to dive in to get that. I think quick start guide. Yes. Yes, this is kind of what I'm looking for. In state. We did that. No. Did this. What do I actually do? So practice preliminaries. Here we go.
Yeah, I, re I, re I resonate with this quite a bit, and I've read the post originally at some point. Um, and I really had to figure what I th out what I think he's pointing to myself. I try to help people figure this out, but uh, I like to put it as meditation can be fun, which is crazy. I know it took me a long time to actually experience and believe that for myself consistently. Okay, let's go back and find that quick start section again. So, practice. We did this. Now we need to do these. Basically, I'd like to read through most of this. Uh, and this. Ideally, I would read these sections and then these sections is my sense of it. I'm gonna take a quick stretch break and come back to nuts and bolts considerations.
Okay, this is going to be useful. Love the mention of standing. All about it. Interesting taxonomy here.
This is probably referring to jhanas, which I would be inclined to disagree with what I'm seeing here, but that's okay. If I'm understanding it correctly, which I might not be. It's probably fine. It's like you don't need to particularly emphasize it. That's fine. I don't know that I disagree exactly. More like jhanas are good and fun and helpful and net positive in my experience. Yeah, this is a section I definitely want to take notes on, on energy. This is a pretty novel way to talk about energy. I read this section recently, and I quite like it. Uh, there's a few points being made, but that essentially you'll encounter energy, things like chi, tingling, buzzing, vibrating, and it's important that you not uh, over index on that experience or your models of it and that you be open to revising how you conceive of that or interact with that that it might change over time and that it's possible that there are more nuanced models of that available i like that i like it Yeah, that's a good point. Quite like this section. Just bolding the sections that I really resonate with. 
I, I wasn't interested in that whole previous section for whatever reason. I'm going to go back to the quick start guide and check in with how I'm progressing. I just read this, so I want to read this. It looks like, basically if I'm reading this correctly, there's a simple way of stating what's said here is that there's a meta protocol and several protocols and P2 is the most important one, but you should do the other ones as well, which is an impression I'd had previously from hearing people talk about this, but nice to... Uh, see it stated explicitly. Let's see. So that has me really curious about what this P2 thing is in particular. <laughs> so 
So I'm going to try to read about the meta protocol and P2. I'm summarizing these ones in my own words because it seems helpful here.
so I, I'm just getting a sense of this, but um, one of the things that I learned from Cedric Reeves actually is to end sessions with a reflection about what happened and sort of metacognitively interpret and reflect on the session. So this seems related to that. Uh, I'm writing notes about it in a way that's a bit simpler than what's described here. Uh, in a way that makes sense to me. These are a bit more specific than what I'm writing down. And I could revisit this section. Uh, but, yeah. I want to leave that so I can come back to it. Good. That makes sense. Okay, so we're making our transition here from the endless warnings and meta content to things you can actually do. And this is a really interesting list of techniques. Uh, some of these look like I can guess what they mean. Relax muscles. That's good. Yeah, I want to explore this more in the future. It feels a little wheezy for this read to read more of these other than skim the names of them. So, uh, I'm going to make a note. look more closely at this in the future. I'm just going to pull this as a link quite like this. Just the idea of this sort of thing. I some of these probably wouldn't resonate for me, but like, uh, yeah. yeah. These are good.
It's a good long list of things you can try. This is one of the things I first noticed about Mark is he's extremely creative. And I asked him once how he became creative, how he cultivated the virtue of creativity in meditation. And he said basically he read a lot of books about meditation and tried all the things. Anytime there was an exercise, he tried it. And you can really get a sense here of how creative he is. So quite like that. Uh, and of course, other people have contributed their different things that have worked for them or that they've tried. Uh, this is fascinating, GPT-3 submissions, because why not? Why not? wonder what the prompt was for that. Meditate like a person. Uh, all kinds of suggestions, because why not? Okay, so we have a sense of these now. Main practices. Okay. Getting to the good stuff here. I'm not actually going to say what section this is, introduction, because it feels... a little bit weedsy to do that. These are some good classes. Good morning from H. I don't know why that jumped out at me, but it did. I like it. This is the one someone glossed as a conceptual clarity. I'm guessing, this is my guess skimming this, that this is something like explain to yourself, ideally in writing, or in some artifact why you're doing this. And I'm also guessing that that's wrong, but that's what I'm getting out of this. actually want to read all this yet. Way too much math logic language for this reader. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive the trespasses of others. Uh, P2, this is the juicy one. The one that should be like 60% of the practice, which is glossed as, let's look, do and will good things if you can. Okay, do and will, intend, plan. What? OK. 
Okay. All right. So this is this is very noisy, very noisy. So I want to read this section. Trying not to judge myself for being turned off by the detail there. This is not a test. I'm not preparing for a test or a quiz or a grade. This is my life and my time and my energy and it's okay if I don't vibe with certain presentations in a book, even if it's written by a friend and someone I admire. He can make choices about how to present things himself and I can not like those choices. It's great. No problem. Cheers to you, Mark. Cheers to me, Tashin. Here we go. I'm going to read this, which he has kindly provided and looks much more appetizing than the sections I was previously looking at. Huh. Good. Bad. This is funny. Assuming there's a future that he's imagining where there are no gas pedals or no cars, but that the document might still be relevant. It's a very interesting authorial choice there. Okay, pith instructions, experimental, here we go. I think I have a sense of what was in this previous section, so choice, choose effortlessness, when it's safe, allow it, choose well-being and relief, give up goals, relax, surrender, huh. It's going to be fun to talk to Mark on Monday. I'm looking forward to this. I think we're going to have a good chat. <sighs> Ooh, this is interesting. Basically that mines have technical debt. Huh. See, I quite like this.
but that's a strong claim. What does this remind me of? Oh yeah, there was this article making the rounds that I still haven't read in full, but it talks about benefits over time. And I sort of didn't like the take that I thought it was going for. But this is this is good. This is good. Um, I like the metaphor of technical debt. I think I've seen that. Uh, I think I've seen that alluded to elsewhere, but nice to see it here. Okay, speculative comment on language learning. I don't need that. Don't need this. Don't need this. Domain knowledge. That's interesting. Okay. Trying to get back out of this rabbit hole to the quick start. Okay, I guess I did that. I guess I looked at all those sections. So, unsticking protocol. That's interesting. That's a good, good advice. Okay, I'm gonna do some random stuff here and search for meta. Huh. Okay, I need to ask him about this. Questions. Okay. Go to the full table of content. So, yeah, this is some good sections that I've read before, but aren't what I want to look at today. So, I think I'm going to close out. Uh, got a good sense of the skeleton of the document, and there's specific sections I'd love to read more and dive more into. Uh, but got a good sense of the core of it in a way that I hadn't before. And it should make for a good conversation with Mark on Monday. So if you've been watching this, hope you enjoyed it. Would love any feedback. This is my first time trying something like this. I may very well try it again 